But if you notice when Cal was in his position to get into his weight shift, and he was bringing his backside here, and he's coming forward to hit the ball, that's going right into the next thing, the stride. I told you we'd talk about the stride, and here it is, okay? What Junior's doing, when he's exaggerating the weight shift and doing this way and coming here, if you notice, his head stays pretty level, okay? Preferably, the shorter the stride, the better off we're gonna be. And the main reason for that is our head stays level. Cal's talking about that pitcher being able to throw hard, right? He's throwing 92, 94 miles an hour up here. If our head, is shifting planes, like dropping like this, it's distorting our vision. The longer the stride, the lower our head goes. So if we can have a nice relaxed weight shift when it's coming and then go into the stride, my eyes stay level longer. The more my eyes stay level, the easier it is for me to see. Now there's some extreme cases we like to point out like everything else. If you remember Dave Winfield, Dave Winfield, six foot six guy, played with the Yankees and the Padres, hit a ball a mile. His stride almost came all the way out to here. It was one of the longer strides you'd ever see. That works for Dave Winfield. You go back and you uh, find Paul Molitor. Paul Molitor, probably one of the best hitters that ever played this game. Paul would be in his position, sometimes his stride would go like this. That was about it. His toe sometimes would just kind of point, and that was it. That worked for him. Paul waited a long time, had extremely quick wrists and hands. That's how he got his power. Winnie, when he got into it and he wound up, he would stride way out there and get his power that way. Those are two individual and two extreme cases of the stride. What I want to keep in mind here, when we take our stride, okay, when we get our little rhythm and our little weight shift going, if our stride is short and soft, that allows our head to stay even, allows our eyes to stay even. That's going to allow us to see the ball better, okay? You want to make sure you take your stride towards the pitcher, okay? It doesn't always have to be perfect, but we want to take the ball is coming from that direction. We want to stride towards the ball. So generally speaking, your stride should be straight out here. You don't want to step in the bucket, and necessarily you don't want to stride too far in. So a good guideline, and again, this is an individual preference that you want to take the, the uh, stride towards the pitcher in a straight line. That's right. Now we've hit on all parts of that stride. Let's go ahead and rewind some of those big league clips. 